Actually, the the biggest stunt that I have ever done in my life is in that film. What did you do? I jumped off a, uh, a building into a, about a 25 foot fall into an airbag and they blew the roof of the building off me and there was this 40 foot um, ball of flame behind me. And actually, had I had them show me the stunt before I did it, I probably wouldn't have done it. I would have been too scared. But I did the stunt, and when I saw it on film, it was just spectacular. It's pretty amazing. Would you do something like that again? No, no I wouldn't do that one again. Yeah. I think made it, you know, very safe for me. But you know, fears in your mind, and it's what you tell yourself about how afraid you are that, you know, really determines what you're going to well, do. All right. Bruce. Where I draw the line is that, is that it always adds to production value and it, and it is, is always more personally satisfying to see the actor doing the stunts. I did a lot of my own stunts in Die Hard. It just always makes it better when you see the actor's face in there, you know, when they don't cut away and show the back of a stuntman's head. Thanks for the advice. My, you know, philosophy about acting is that whatever it takes to get the best performance on film because once it's there and once you commit it to film and once you say this is what the film is it never changes. Television is a very limited medium uh, in, in that you have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of money to get an episode done. So what did you say? I want to be alone. You said that? I'm saying that. Are you saying you said that or that you're saying that? With films you have a lot more money and you have a lot more time to to get it right. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki yay. Uh, I play a character named John McClane, who is a New York cop who comes to Los Angeles on Christmas Eve to try and patch things up with his wife. They've been separated for about six months. She has moved to Los Angeles to take a, a very well-paying job. It's the story of a very ordinary character who gets thrown into extraordinary circumstances. Come on to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. It's an action film. Uh, I've seen it. It's very powerful. It's, uh, there are at least, in the, just, you know, the rough cut that I, I saw, there are at least seven or eight scenes where you, you know, the people that I, you know, saw it with actually got up on their seats or, you know, just, you know, cringing at some really, some really wild stuff and some real hairy stunts. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. 